as someone who grew up playing video games, I can't help but feel a little bit jealous because uh, there are kids who are going to be making more money uh, than I was making at the Pizza Hut uh, from from playing video games. And and this is like it's easy to joke about, but the reality is this play to earn model is going to become the new normal. And and what it's doing to empower people all over the world is actually really remarkable uh, and 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 quite extraordinary. To put it in perspective, right, uh, the company did 200 million in revenue in July. They've already hit that number now, halfway into August. Uh, this growth is remarkable, and and the reason, well, look, there is a generation of gamers who have grown up, whether they're playing on their mobile phones or on their computers, they've grown up enjoying games, enjoying the community around games and spending lots of hard earned money on it. But they've never gotten to own the things that they spent the money on, right? You could you could spend real money to get an in-game in you know, skin in Fortnite to help you look cool or, or various things, but you, you no longer owned it. It was just property of the game. What, what the blockchain does is create the technology so that you actually own the digital goods that you buy or earn. And what this does now that it is at scale and, and truly a global marketplace is it empowers gamers to, to really own the things that they're creating, to really actually monetize the time that they're spending playing these video games. And like I said, there's, there's no putting this genie back in the bottle. Once people are realizing that this is an alternative, and in some cases, you know, you've got people who were forced out of work because of COVID, started playing Axie Infinity, are now making more money from this game that they don't need to go back to work. They're paying their medical bills, they're feeding their families. And, and it's a truly global phenomenon. If you, you know, consider this as the new normal for gaming, what reason would any person have to go back to spending their time playing games for free or spending money for things they don't actually own?